This is amazing. Now we have Mixtral 822B. This is a model released by Mistral and it outperforms the previous Mixtral 87B. Command R plus, Command R and Llama 270B. If you see the cost comparison, Mixtral is cheaper and better. Mixtral 822B is fluent in English, French, Italian, German and Spanish. It has a strong mathematics and coding capability. It is natively capable of function calling and it is 64,000 tokens context window. The context window is getting better for open source large language models. It is a sparse mixture of experts model that uses 39 billion active parameters out of the total 141 billion parameter. It is released under Apache 2 license, allowing anyone to use the model without any restrictions. Its multilingual capability beats Llama 270B on all its benchmarks. Similarly for Max and coding, it is comparatively better than Llama 270B, Command R, Command R plus. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Mixtral 822 billion parameter model. We're going to use Mistral's API and access this model. We're also going to create a user interface like this so that we can test this model for its coding ability. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. I have already covered how to use Mistral API in a complete separate video which I will link that in the description below. But for now, quickly I will go through the code. So here we are using Gradio to create the user interface. We are using Mixtral 822 billion parameter model. We are using client.chat to invoke the model. The interface is completely built using Gradio. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, make sure you've exported Mistral API key like this, which you can generate from console.mistral.com. Next, pip install Mistral AI and Gradio and then click enter. Now Python UI.py and then click enter. Now I'm going to open this URL and here is the interface. Now I'm going to give a example, give a meal plan for today and click submit. And here is the response from Mixtral 822 billion parameter model. Now we are going to test this model for its coding capability. First, Python very easy challenge, return the sum of two numbers. So this is requesting the large language model to create a function and return the sum of two numbers. I'm going to copy the instruction and provide it here and click submit. And here is the response. Just copying the response. Seems like it's generated in JavaScript language, but we need that in Python. So I'm going to ask in Python. Now got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. And it's a pass. Next, Python easy challenge. Find the discount. Copying the instruction and asking the large language model. Clicking submit and got the response here. I'm going to copy the answer and let's test it and it is a pass. Next, Python medium challenge, instructing the large language model to create a digital to analog converter. So going to copy the instruction and asking the large language model, clicking submit. And you can see the speed of generation is comparatively within three seconds. Now going to copy the answer, testing it. Seems like a failure. Copying the error code and asking the large language model again. Now got the answer here, just copying it and testing it. That is a fail. Next, let's try the hard challenge. Find domain name from DNS provider. So it's requesting the large language model create a function to perform this task. Just copying the instruction and asking the large language model. I can see it's using a package, but I'm going to inform, do not use any package. Now got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a pass. Next, Python, very hard challenge. Identity matrix asking the large language model to create a function for identity matrix. Copying the instruction and asking the large language model. And I've got the answer here, just copying the answer and going to test it. That is a fail. I'm going to copy the instruction or the failure log and give that to the large language model. Got another answer here, just copying it. And it is a fail. Now going to the expert level challenge, ECG sequence asking the large language model to generate a function to create ECG sequence, copying the instruction and asking the model. 
Got the answer here, I'm just copying it and going to test this. Got an error here, I'm just going to copy the error code with the solution. Now it's generating the fix, copying the fix and let's test this. So that is a fail. So overall, it failed in three. Considering it's open source, this is a really good model and it has function calling and larger context. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.